Okay guys, it's March 2nd and we are in Lake Texoma in Gordonville, Texas. And we're in the new section of their campground. So we're gonna take a walk around. It's not very full right now, but we're gonna take a look around and just give you a show. You've seen Lake Texoma before when we were here in the older section. And so I'm just gonna give this a start and get you involved in the new section. So there's our coach with Rick. I don't know what he's doing. Fixing his watch, it looks like. So you can see they're pretty good sized lots here. Sites, they're not lots, they're sites. We are at an end, which is nice because we can just come from here and pull straight out and go on out and go around. And so back in sites here next to the road, then just a ton of these. Um, I, I don't know how many rows there are for sure, but we're gonna take, which way you wanna go? You wanna go this way? Okay, we're gonna go this way. They have put in um, an enclosed storage for campers and whatnot over there. There's a new bathhouse down here. We'll go up and take a look at it, see what it's like. But uh, few and far between. People just getting used to coming into the new section. It's pretty quiet. There's a little playground. Uh, most of the activities, though, happen in the older section. Oh, that uh, camper over there's got his awning out and pinned down with his shade. This wind, it's been pretty windy here, but the sun's out and we're walking around without coats and all bundled up for a change. So we're just going to go walk around and there's a, see what's around. There's a little gazebo like ours. He's on top of his roof. Something's going on. But uh, we'll take get up here to the bathhouse and yeah, I want to go to the bathhouse. That's where all the concrete pads are. Yeah, see the picnic tables fit in those just fine. Don't jump. <laughs> it's a good day today. Yeah, it is a good day. You could go fly, right? Ah. So this I believe is yeah, this one is a handicap site. Here. But then we start here with pull throughs that are concrete, which we're on gravel. But which would have been nicer, but then you don't put rugs out and that kind of stuff. So the bathhouse, we'll go in here and take a look. You can check out the men's if you like. I'll check out the women's, as long as there's no one in here. Yep, no one in. Double mirrored sinks. Nice granite countertops or quartz even, quartz. Nice size shower, so you've got a changing area, the shower area. Got two of those. This one's smaller, so this one's really going to work for handicap. This one will be a regular, but it's nice to have two. The only thing they don't have in here, which would be nice, is a little seat to put your stuff on. There's nowhere to put your... Um, the handicap has it. This one doesn't, so your shampoos, soaps, everything has to go on the floor. You're gonna end up throwing your towel over the uh, shower rods, your clothes over the shower rods. So I don't like that as well, but <clears throat> it's uh, pretty nice, pretty clean. So we're coming back out here. Nice pads. So the thing I see in the bathhouses for the showers 
is there's no seating to put your clothes on or to sit on to take your clothes off. Well, ours had, men's had little uh, benches. We, no, the handicapped one in the women's is the only one that had a bench. And look at his front tires off the ground to get level. Wow. Wow, oh wow. No way without blocking them would I do it. He doesn't have chalks around his wheels even. He's got no wheel chalks. Oh, sorry about that sound. So if anybody can tell me what this setup is on this uh, Dodge truck, I don't know what they tow on the top. Maybe kayaks? It's too long for bikes. Um, I'm just not sure what that setup would be for. So if you know what that would be for, leave us a comment in the links below and we'll figure it out, maybe. But look at how uneven this slopes up to the back. See, I mean, they're nice and long, but you would have an issue, uh, you would have an issue then getting level. So, where that pickup is sitting, straight ahead with the red truck, uh, the camper, that is the welcome center and you have to pull in there to go inside the building and get all your paperwork and get registered then you can come out and go where you want otherwise you have to go through the guard shack which is the brown building where that car's going and it's gated with codes that change weekly did you want to go over there that round yeah, we can come back you come back that round down here first i don't know i just thought we could just do the whole thing but <clears throat> okay which way you want to go? You want to go right there and get it done? Or do it on our way back? Yeah. We have encountered already wasp here pretty good. Um, so I think they're just finally coming out of their hibernation. And I mean, Rick killed what, one yes, last night? Yeah, I killed, killed one. I killed one this morning. <coughs> And then one today that just flew off. He hit one today that flew off. And they're just they're flying all over when you're sitting still. So anyway, that's uh for the majority of how this campground runs. It's pretty empty right now. They say one o'clock and five o'clock is usually their rush on campers. But uh we didn't see that yesterday. Any big rush coming in. There were, there's how many? 189? 100, well, this is 130. 130 new, new sites here in the section that we're showing you now. And so that's a nice addition to what we have down here in the older section that we were in when we were here last time. Be a nice spot. I think it still goes uphill a little ways, especially back here. You wouldn't have And when we were here last time they were putting taking all of the fencing down and moving the fencing and doing all that to uh, get in here and get this stuff done. But yeah, it's on the uphill a little bit has a little bit of an upslope to it. But you can back up far enough to... Electrical won't reach and all that stuff. You had to look at all that. You can back up far enough, maybe the electrical doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you gotta look. All of these are pretty, pretty well forward. Yep. Now, because in, of where the electrical boxes in, are. Let's see, yeah. In to get all utilities, all that would be on this side. Yep. If it backed up all the way to the end, I don't think the electrical cord would fit. The water and sewer would be fine. Water and sewer are fine. Electrical would be the issue because our electrical is at the end of our coach in the back. So we're not going to take you through the old section and save you that one. 
that video again anyway. <laughs> we did make it down to the lake yesterday and to the beach. We took a drive down there. And uh, <clears throat> the beach is really eroded badly because of all the rains they've had here. But you can see here just how this goes uphill for everybody to get into the camp, this section of the campground. Huge expansion though. Huge expansion and there is a ton of land yet to expand even more on. We got campers over there. Looks like just a couple down there that we can see. I think this is that on the map. This is that, oh, that little circle yeah. that we see coming in. I think those might be all 30 amp though. All the new section is 50 amp. But we only find one Wi-Fi extender, which is right here for this entire section. Looks like there may be one on top of the bathhouse. Maybe. The two white areas, yeah. Do you want to walk up through the parking lot? Mm. Go, down Go down the other side? Yeah. Okay. Just right here down this lane. And we'll go around Got the other new section. There's a new, another, more new section over on the other side of this building. We'll give you a look at that when we get over there. So yesterday also when we got here, they were having the ribbon cutting ceremony up here in the Welcome Center. And they had uh, door prizes and some refreshment and cookies and um, loaf breads, you know, just specialty breads. It was pretty good. They had a bunch had a of nice, the uh, corporate people were here. Yeah, had... How many of them? Was there five or six corporate people here? It was like five, four or five. Yeah. And uh, then, oh of course, God. the staff. So they introduced everybody to that. But when you came in, you could put your name on a ticket for a raffle. And they had a big screen TV. I mean, a big screen TV. I'll get it out. Sorry. Big TV. And they had a tent and coolers and all kinds of things. We, of course, did not get our ticket drawn, but that's okay. It was fun. And then they were to have movie night last night. Brittany is the activity director and uh, also part of the Thousand Trails sales associates. Super nice young gal. And so we thought, well, we'll come up and see what the movie is. <laughs> And the movie was announced to be from 5 to 7, very early, because it's not even dark yet at 5. But we came up, <laughs> and Rick and I were the only ones, right? We were the only ones there for the movie. So we said, no, no, don't worry about it. She goes, no, no. Have you seen this movie that has um, Robin, Williams. Robin Williams in it? And it's called RV... Just RV something, RV something. and it's hilarious. it's hilarious so if you're wanting to see something funny that has to do with RVing you got to check it out and um, I think she found it on her Apple TV app but I'm sure you can find it other places as well but this is the other part of the new section So you can see just three campers in here, four. So we're gonna walk this for exercise. So as we stand in this new section, if you look straight forward where there's the two lodge pine trees poles, you got the white Jeep and our, uh, our car, of course, and our Jeep, our coach. So we went around except for one one drive past the activity center our business center and came down here in the other part of the new section it's not very big um 
I know it's a lot of land for 130 spaces. It's a lot of land for 130 spaces, for darn sure. And then we think this is the, uh, <clears throat> there's a road here. And down this road is a marina and a really nice uh, restaurant. So you can go down there and watch the sailboats and the other boats, because there's a lot of sailboats there. Today would be a nice day for a sailboat. A lightweight sailboat and uh, can't do any beaching there but you can at least go to the marina and have a nice meal which we did last time we were here and stuff so hmm there's a lot of land here the waterfront in the lake belongs to the Corps of Engineers. I found that out this morning because we were wondering who owns and maintains all of that because the roads are sometimes in better shape than some of the roads here in the older part of the campground. This big's from California. We saw some from New York. Uh, several from South Dakota. So definitely have some snowbirders down here. <laughs> Hi. But I think in time, with people pulling in and out of these sites that are not paved, there's going to be a lot of settling because this is so new. There's a nice shop over there with a RV sitting there. And they still park their RV outside. And they still get their RV outside. Put it through one of them big doors. Anyway, it's not real crowded. We know the folks in this particular unit here. We play uh, fast track with them when we were here last April. So May, what was it, May or April? March or April, I mean. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, some of the other group will be coming back. They're down further down south. They'll be coming back up this way next week, I believe. And um, we'll all get together, play some more Farkle, and who knows what else. But, yep, this is us. So that's our campground. That was our camper right there, that last one through the trees. And so last night there was a lot of uh, lights, red and yellow, orange flashing lights over here. We're believing it was on this road that we're on. And we passed a section that um, had had a fire. So I'm assuming that that's where the red lights were coming from there last night. But we're not real sure. Well, um... Uh, haven't seen anything else yet, and we wouldn't have seen anything down here last night for lights, so I'm sure it had something to do with that fire. Because they were there a long time. But this is um, on the way down to the marina. The far end of the lake, as we're coming down to the marina, looking back, so you can see the marina there, but this end is pretty, uh, pretty shallow. Sherwood Shores Baptist Church. Interesting. Must be something else down there. <clears throat> so this is Cedar Mills at Pelican Landing. Not a really good road to have uh, have your uh, coach on. As you can see, we waited for them because they they needed all the room they could get. They were chatting. Yeah, they were chatting, but they still needed all the room they could get. There's homes down here. There's you know storage down here. But Cedar Mills it welcomes Pelicans Landing, and Pelicans Landing is the marina 
and then there's uh, the restaurant down here so vacation home for sale didn't have that when we were here last time and it's Sunday so the restaurant doesn't really appear to have many cars around it yeah it almost looks closed oh it's down there oh no there's a bunch of people there yeah there's more cars down here Yeah, here. this house wasn't here last year, or whatever it's going to be here. I'm almost sure we videoed this, so I am going to apologize. Um, now that we get down in here again, I'm, so I do apologize for a duplicate of something from a previous video last year. There's the deck on the back of it, of the restaurant, which is pretty cool. And then this was the new, I think this, yeah, this is the new section that was started last year and they're still working on it. Got a few sailboats in there this time. Yeah, they didn't have anything in there last year. Nothing in there last year the little playground again and of course we have the wasp <laughs> we have the wasps the, are everywhere. We have, they're everywhere they the wasps have come out look at this house isn't that very nice you can see it it's very nice you should go over there and see what that one for sale is too unless you're going in here no i'm not going in there we already had lunch <laughs> unless you want to have an early dinner it's you too, too so. early for dinner all right we're going to take a drive down here and see what we can find so we're oh, <laughs> coming out with the speed bumps out of the marina and just taking a drive down a road we've not been down coming out of here just to see where it goes but we're on the other side of the water. <laughs> there you go. Nice little sailboat out there healing over nice with the winds that we have today. He should be having fun. And I got a little dock there. Ungated dock. Losing a little wind in his sail so he's Heading up into the wind to get in here, I think. But they have um, cabins and um, a campground and lodges and stuff in here for rent. Is this the sign we saw? No, it's a different sign. Different sign. Oh, there's an airplane. Steve and Tawny have a place to come. Could land right there. <laughs> Don't get much of a runway, but. So where's the one for sale? I have no idea. But there is an air landing strip down here. I think you have to go down there farther. I think you have to go down that way farther. <coughs> we're going to come this way, I guess. <coughs> we turned around, we're going to come this way. That's got laundry in it, so I'm not sure what... This is the RV park. Oh, this is the RV park. Some of these roads we'd never get down. There is um, electric and water. Looks like 30 amp. I do not see sewer on it, which makes sense being right here at the marina. There's that sailboat. Yeah, nobody's in here. No one in the, in the marina. I mean in the RV park. Running his head sail and his Genoa. Trying to catch as much wind as possible. He's moving right along. Let me sit here and watch him a minute. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yep, he's going to be dipping his side rail there real quick. <laughs> See that? He's about the only one I see out there. We saw a powerboat out there, but it's a pretty good sized lake. See, you could get a lot of sailboats out there. I was trying to tell Rick if we bought something down here as a summer or winter place, he could have himself a little sailboat and go play around. He didn't answer me, so. I want to see if they have any liveaboard slips. We just <laughs> Buy a boat and live on it here. Yeah, I don't think we want to live aboard down here in the winter because it, I mean, you know, it gets cold down here too.